Hi guys, and really, really super quick announcement. There is a promo, buy three, get one free. So basically, as it says, buy three readings of any kind. You want half an hour, 45 minutes, one hour, and then you're going to basically hear from me and I'm going to send you four coupons that you can use and kind of look for your readings. So whichever way you want to space them out, or some people probably would want to use kind of like a full range of the things that I have, past lives, karma, and fly on the wall kind of a thing to kind of like have it for the future. It is really good for people who really want deeper clarity, who want to kind of like really take advantage of like, I mean, this is a huge saving and who really want to get to the bottom of some issues, especially if you need me to do some kind of detective work for you, because that can be done with her. Second announcement is that I'm actually cooking something on my website as well. And and here you go. This is a big excitement, big announcement. So this is my website, guys. Sure, you can go there if you need to order anything so you can kind of have all these options or learn a little bit more about my tarot school or learn about kind of like different things or have kind of like little kind of like blurbs from me. But what is really new thing over here is ta -da! free tarot reading. So basically what's happening here. You can just choose whatever kind of like suits you over here. Like I mean, there are a few options right now. Shuffle the cards, think about your question, shuffle, shuffle, shuffle. And you have three cards that you need to get and then you get the answer. This is like quick go-to. This is not intuitive reading. Of course, it's a computer generated and it explains card per card. Sometimes like, I mean, one card like this one can completely kind of like change the whole width of it, right? And so that for that kind of like reason, it's always good to get a reading with me. Now guys, also there will be possibly something specially made for people who uh, are on my newsletter. So you just scroll on the bottom of any page, click on get to the mailing list and just like enter your stuff and subscribe and that's all that is needed to be done. So hopefully you can take advantage of that and enjoy it. They're like really detailed descriptions, took lots of time and effort to do that and would love to get your comments about it and to see if you're as excited as I am. You can find all this information, my email, if you want to contact me, let's talk, let's discuss. And don't forget guys on the videos that there's still click contest going on, the sign that has most most views, most clicks, most comments is going to be getting their readings in the future first on weeklies, on monthlies, on X readings. So keep doing at it. Like I mean, last month Cancer was the dead last, and then went to freaking on the top. I think they they they're just like a few days short of winning over Leo. So it is kind of like strength and persistence. So guys, set your goals and go there. And I'm looking forward to hearing your comments. Love you. So let's just jump right in. All right, let's leave this kind of card out. And maybe zoom it out so you can see more of the table. And let's see what we have. Wow, did I not talk about something kind of like, um, kind of like working on it? This is Hierophant, like you had seven over here, which was reversed, and you have five, and your card is right in the middle, like your card is six, right? It's maybe you're coming back to thinking about someone, you are maybe thinking about a marriage partner, maybe you are thinking about you know how you really want to go in this direction how maybe you you played or you have been played like this first card is kind of like opening it's kind of like talking about the traditional thing well technically you don't get to be very traditional but you're like willing to dabble into that right so this is really talking about you making some interesting decisions such as that you're going to only trust you know the things and people that are tried and true kind of a thing almost like this god or supreme knowledge over here so 
this can talk about master or like I mean spiritual mediator you know faith and high ideal somebody who is really good you're looking for the person who is on the top kind of like of their field like something that is true like maybe you have been taking so many shortcuts so far and it got you very got you that you maybe had to do things in a hurry you're saying okay maybe slow wins the race kind of like it's a little bit Counter, counter, counterproductive or counterintuitive and it's really happening also getting this eight of swords card and it's reversed so this is this lady who kind of like looks like look at look at her ties look at that rope let me just try to get it clearer for you it doesn't really look is it going to do it or not come on camera if you really look at it, it really shows this is so loosey-goosey and it's not going to show anything with, with me trying to keep it close. Here you go. You see here, she can wiggle out anytime she wants. But look at this. She has appearance of, oh my God, I cannot move. I cannot do anything. Like, I mean, she moves to the left, trouble on the left, trouble on the right. She steps in the back. And then she feels this coolness of the sword. She steps forward. Oh my gosh, water. She doesn't know how deep it is. So somebody needs to remove the blindfold. And I really think, because this is reversing, that it's exactly what you'll be doing. You kind of like really want to see truth in the face. And that is the huge ability that air signs have. It's just kind of like, okay, what am I dealing with? Let me just like face it. Let me deal with it. Look at the swords that are coming through over here. So it is really important to acknowledge this. Take off your blindfold, like address it, just like I said, you know, like I mean, with your finances, with everything else just say okay I know I like to avoid it because I don't have to think about it there is no stress just hit the kind of like that like I mean nail on a head and it's going to be better you also have four of cups and I think the key message over here and this reversed over here right the fours are generally about stability right but this is like now falling also in cops area right so that's kind of like two people two women who are just bowing down and yes sure what they're gathering seems to be fantastic beautiful flowers but are they able to see what other people are seeing over here look at that like people are engaged with their own stuff and maybe missing something super special something kind of like you know starbucks coffee latte with a kitty cat on the top so this is really important this really says you really need to pay attention right so cups are not necessarily your cup of tea i i get that right but when this reverses it can mean that you're just kind of like suffering from <laughs> i guess boredom of some kind of kind right it could be depression it could be that you're separated from somebody right but at the same time you need to know that this kind of like whole process because look at this you have a four you have a five you have a six you have a seven you have an eight this is not coincidence guys tarot is not no no cat sneeze tarot is really telling you a story so here is really telling me that you know that creative juices the stuff really really need to flow and maybe this is where you feel compressed that you really don't know how to express it that you really didn't don't know in which direction you really should step in so how about in any direction because this is like literally what i see this month for you glorious past oh wheel of fortune so Wheel of Fortune belongs to Jupiter and Jupiter rules Sagittarius. Sagittarius have to be just on the other side of the horizon when Gemini was in the sun, right? But this also can talk about this fixedness. That's why we have like these four fixed signs, except, oh yeah, it is. I'm mean, like thinking like, why are the two Aquarians, right? But then I noticed that this guy does have an eagle hat, which kind of represents Scorpio. So it would be Aquarius. It would be Taurus, Leo, and Scorpio over here. It could be that you have been involved with any of these uh, basic signs or with Cancer. But um, it, 
this also talks about kind of like processions like kind of like you felt really happy and maybe certain things have been going without a glitch I mean you always driving like 180 on a highway and you never got stopped no somebody stops you or there is an accident you see like that's kind of like until that time something really happens wheel of fortune is one of my karma cards so this is really telling me that there was like something karmic that you have been dealing with in maybe recent past right and nobody really escapes this kind of like cycling right, right over here but this is kind of like that fate and this is kind of like what they call it samsara and success and risks over here so 10 is like that ending that kind of like promises new beginning but is saying you cannot start grade two until you really finish this grade one so hey pay attention so it was a good foundation but like it also tells me that maybe you got some unrealistic expectations because you see this kind of like things that are climbing up well when we fall down we really really want to climb up but the point is like we have to go into the circular motions right we have to figure it out right like t a r o t right that's a cyclical thing we have to keep moving it and when we're on the top we have to realize this too shall pass when we are at the bottom we have to realize this too shall pass and it's just like knowing like look i better enjoy it while i can right because that's also what the sixes say it's kind of like about that exuberance and, and joy in kind of like things that, that we are doing what is crowning you guys is ta -da, eight of pentacles you really want this ah moment not the ha moment ah moment you want to feel like that your heart is getting full right you you really really want to go in this direction and like so now we have two eights one was like remove this blindfold this is really telling me that possibly something already exists around you you just need to allow things to happen you need to allow it to happen in its own time and it's kind of like own terms I, I really feel there is like somebody around you who kind of like has an eye on you and who would be more than happy to be with you you for some reason maybe just have been an object or a person that this person observed and maybe you were not ready maybe you know like i mean you really didn't know how to say what you want it's kind of like i get lots of lots of lots of kind of like um messages here that there has been something with communication and almost like i'm not understanding these messages because you are the master communicator guys and like you are what is really happening right here but also like when this jupiter happens it can feel that up is down left is right and the kind of like so on and so forth your imminent future whoa it's three of pentacles now now we are talking you see these two cards are pretty much twin sisters in tarot the higher that you go the more you're resolving the bigger the messages are the more you ask to learn right with exceptions of these two cards they're sort of like almost like interchangeable right so here we see Ta -da, this is my work but here is like where we get all this expertise look at that artist over here like still holding a brush and looking at this masterpiece and saying you know what maybe i should stop right there because just adding one more little element it's going to be just too much and it's also about the balance kind of like hey you know am i spending too much time working am i kind of like perfectionist over here like i mean you need to kind of lay off of this perfectionism and kind of like be very pragmatic over here right so this three of pentacles to me it's also about teamwork where you know all of a sudden like i mean and look they're like uh, kind of mirroring each other like you had already some idea how to bring other people to understand you in the past and then maybe somebody put their own rules maybe you had a new job maybe you the new boss 
kind of like shifted maybe you got a new boss and now all of a sudden you have to figure out a new system maybe you had a conflict with your partner and it was like I mean okay these are not my values and I don't really know if I can deal with yours so this is like about putting yourself to the test kind of a thing right and and just say I can I can right if you guys uh, we're looking for a job maybe you don't like this new boss maybe you don't like your work anymore maybe you feel your work is dumbing you down and hence the creati creativity is no longer there and this is a really promise of something really good will be happening so even though this is kind of imminent since it's pentacle it's going to revolve slow but this is not to say that you shouldn't be putting the seeds you know how I said this is my karma card? It is. But 3 and 8 is 11, which is a justice, which is also another karma card that I have. And it's really telling me that, hey, you know what? Like certain things are coming in balance. You maybe felt that you kind of like got stuck or that somebody got like a I minute mean, better of you. But this is really explaining to me, you know what? It's all going to work out. It's all good. Things are coming in balance. It's a really good thing when this really happens. In your environment, let's see who is coming. Wow, there are like some kind of like secrets. They're like, it's really interesting. Look at these two cards are mirroring each other. And both of them are connected with the moon. So is there a jealousy? Is there that you really want to find something about someone? It almost looks like you don't want to reach out or you can't reach out. This person could be literally out of reach. So he or she could be somewhere where the phone just signals are not going or for some reason they're like involved in a situation that they figure out okay if I start dealing with this right now I will never finish it so I have to deal with whatever I have right now and then when I do this then I'm going to turn to Gemini or you know kind of like deal with this there is like a mutual thing over here like it, it's kind of like almost like an impasse that I really see here maybe um, maybe there's like a communication issue right whenever the high priestess kind of like reverses from me like that's that kind of like feminine spirit right it can talk about uh, mistrust it can talk about loss but it can also talk about those secrets as I told you the repression of some truth right so I don't really know unless you're able to talk which is going to be hard you really want to go to the other place but almost like tells me you might be just simply too tired for that high level decisions for high level things maybe right now it is I, what I see is what I get I kind of like have to put in front of one foot in front of another and just like see where I land These are your hopes and fears. Oh my gosh, death. So you do not want ending, but at the same time, you fear that ending is there. This is death card. In this card, we are clearly talking about some transformation has to happen. Something that has been going on, it just cannot continue. Not in a way, not in a shape, not in a form. And I don't know guys if this is the ending of some kind of like relationship or could be even marriage or it could be simply the end of lies which probably you should really uh, glorify in the stage if this is the case end of secrets this can really talk about it somebody is holding a really deep secret and that secret could be like I mean sort of like a child or something but keep in mind that every death is followed by a fresh start right so these are going to be kind of like very transformational changes. I told you, you have a very karmic month. That is a very important card and it's not something to fear, especially when it comes upright. So if something needs to stop, it needs to stop because it's not going to serve you in the future and you really need to trust this, right? You need to trust that you are kind of like going through the transformation. So. If something is old and you know how we say same old same old and we never say this is like yes kind of a thing right so that same old is now becoming new 
and unfamiliar, right? So you need to break all habits. So maybe if you have been in a relationship, that relationship is in a rut and there are issues because you need to figure out doing things differently. So change things change things around like make it kind of like interesting you're a gemini you have like ability to be that creative make room for something greater right it's very very important and lastly let's see where this is heading oh you have the hangman but hangman is reversed beware of this i don't like when hangman is reversed hangman really good card it represents god it represents that we really need to do suffering we need to kind of like do our work to get somewhere nothing really nothing ah, sure you'll say well some people just like i mean lack out they do lack out because this is kind of karma that they want to create they want to maybe be famous they want to be celebrity they kind of like wanting to be very popular but if you really look into really the question that is underlining this whole thing, are they happy? That's the question you really need to ask, right? So this is talking about looking like a man, like a man from their perspective and looking what unique challenges they really go through, right? And when this reverses, it can talk about wink, wink, impotence, right? When this reverses, it can talk about that somebody just giving a story. Ah, oh, yeah, I did this for you. I did that for you. You know, it's one of those people who are perpetual victims, right? So this is also corresponding to Neptune, right? And it's very unfamiliar territory for you. Let me put it this way. It kind of gets big water over here, right? So this is also talking about kind of like ending these old ways. These two cards almost like they're friends like this is 12 and this is 13 so that's one step forward one step backward right and it's back into kind of like making those decisions it's back to making these choices it's back to delays and back to you know do not miss opportunity this could be somebody who is simply not going to do sacrifice enough in order to push things forward and don't make it to be you now I have also pulled a rune and I have my names for the runes, and this is one of those weird ones. It's not really a word, but it would be a fork, right? It's actually Ansu's, it's the rune of divine, but it is reversed, right? So this is the rune of inspiration, and we keep seeing this boredom, and you're being uninspired, or, you know, you're losing your voice. This can be literal. Maybe you can just have, like, I mean, throat issues, laryngitis, right? But like this can also represent situation just like what we see here that you really want to be heard, that you really want to be in the know kind of a thing, right? But maybe your views have been ignored. Maybe you have tried and like tried and I eh, said, so, okay, whatever, I'm, I'm going, I'm leaving. Yes, I have all these issues. Maybe they're not resolved. Maybe you didn't have any kind of closure for something to really happen, right? So, when this rune shows up, it kind of like tells you that you must take extra care to kind of like safeguard very important documents because most likely they are, like I mean, likely to go astray, right? And if you have, because I've seen traveling, this can actually indicate delays or somebody not arriving on time or you're waiting for somebody and this is driving you nuts, just just take it that's kind of a month right and you might actually deal with older people and they will be driving you freaking nuts so kind of like take this in account as well this also could be an older person who knows something but is not telling you something that you need to know this also could be somebody who can quickly really help you because we are air signs we know we want somebody hey first of all we are never shying away from the truth and if somebody tells us the truth if you know if it's done in a polite way, we are going to take it and, and we are going to kind of like really think about it. If somebody's rude to us, they actually really get it back. I guess we know that much, right? But there is like someone with to whom you have been nice and correct and polite and you might actually find something eventually, not in this month that they could have made a difference and they didn't want to and it's going to create a big question mark. So I would like to really know what it is, Gemini. 
Now I'm going to pull one more card to seal this reading to see where we are heading with this. And this one I wanted to come out. Magical Map Shifter. Oh my God, is this card speaking and screaming Gemini to me like no other card? It's it's really bizarre. And I really think it's the very last card in, oh, it is, and two more after this. I thought it was a 52 cards deck. So Gemini, let me read this for you. And look at this. It's kind of like, like a Wheel of Fortune. It's this juggle. It's kind of these whole bunch of choices that you can face and you can do. So it says, Spirit orchestrates everyone's destiny. When the magical map shifter card arrives, it comes with a mission to make you aware of the people who come into your life to impact your personal growth. Perhaps you may meet a soulmate, ta-da, whose presence invites you to be the best you that you can be or someone who leads you out of difficulty and into a place of safety or success. Pay attention to those individuals who cross your path today and cause you to reflect on your journey. Be awake and aware, and you'll recognize them for the important change agents they are. Your whole perspective about who you are and why you are here will shift. The magical map shifter always initiates you into a better version of yourself that's for sure guys and it might not come into this kind of like childish silly thing oh yeah 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 kind of thing it's going to come in a very mature way in a very profound way it's going to kind of like really seep in like a fog like slowly just like in those you know like i mean spooky movies and phew, next thing you know you see nothing in your case it's going to come in but for you because you will have to turn inside and you will realize how powerful you are you're going to actually clue into your intuition and all of a sudden just like that the fog will lift so thanks again gemini for being here around for the reading and for clicking so much yay and so just continue doing the same thing likes and shares and comments i really like to hear from you especially this month it's going to be so much happening and lastly check the free readings that i have on my website as well as if you want to get a reading from me catchtarot.ca and don't forget we have like this beautiful special this month and lastly, 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 let's not forget, make sure you check your ascendant and you check your moon sign if you're only getting um, my channel readings. Love you and until the next time, all the best.